Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to record a refund of a customer overpayment in QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And so this sometimes comes up where a customer will overpay an invoice and they don't want to apply it to a future invoice or apply it to a, uh, you know, an existing invoice and they want a refund. Okay, so first things first, we want to go up to our uh, accountant settings because there's one setting in here you want to make sure that you uh, uncheck. All right, so if we go over to uh, the advanced here, you'll see down here, automatically apply credits. We want to turn that off, okay, uh, because what this will do is if you create a credit on their account, it's going to automatically apply that to an invoice. And so we want to turn that off so that we can refund this credit. All right, so first of all, go there, turn that off, make sure it's turned off, and we close out of here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over to sales and go to customers. And I'm just going here because I'm going to pick a customer that we're going to receive a payment for. So we'll say it's Freeman Sporting Goods. All right, and well, I'll tell you what, let's go to uh, this Gita Kalapa 2, okay, 629.10. And we're gonna say that uh, the payment date, 531, we're gonna choose a payment method check, and uh, we'll say that this is 254187. Uh, it's gonna default to undeposited funds, and it checks off this invoice automatically. Now we're going to say that they paid 829.10 for whatever reason. They had a, an, uh, an overpayment. They paid a little bit too much. And you'll see here where it says amount to credit, $200. Okay. And this transaction will create an additional credit in the amount of $200. All right. So we're going to save and close. Okay. So if I go down to this particular customer, you'll see it shows a negative $200 balance. And if I click on this customer, you're gonna see uh, that it shows that this invoice was paid and then it shows partial up here. Okay, so the goal here is we want this to be closed. We don't want this to show as uh, a, uh, an outstanding um, partial payment. Okay, so it's got the credit here of $200. All right. So we want to refund this to this customer because they are asking us uh, for a refund. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up and we're going to go to the quick create menu. And we're going to, now this is a little unusual because it's under vendors, uh, but we're going to click on check. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to type in the customer name, which you can do even though it's under the vendor menu. We'll say it's the bank account, uh, you know, the mailing address and the payment date come up. Okay. So the category here, what you want to do for the account is you want to type in accounts receivable. Now, the reason we're doing that is because this credit is a credit to accounts receivable because this is a payment we received. It's reducing accounts receivable. And so the credit is going to sit in accounts receivable. So the account here is going to be accounts receivable. Now you can type in your description, refund of overpayment, and you can put in the invoice number uh, that this is associated with. All right. So the amount is going to be $200. Now, if the original transaction was a billable expense, uh, you, you would check this and then put in the customer. But if it's not, if it's just an invoice, a standard invoice that is not a, uh, you know, a billable expense, uh, then you can leave this blank because we, we are specifying the customer up here. All right. So make sure, you know, you have the right check number. If you hand wrote the check or if you're going to print this later, you're going to check off print later. And once this is good, you're going to hit save and close. Okay. So now it takes us back to the transaction screen and you'll see now that we have paid and we have partial. So again, we want to get this to uh, close. All right. So what we're going to do, you're going to go up to the quick create menu again, and you're going to say receive payment. And we're going to type in the customer name. All right. So you'll see two boxes here. We'll say, we'll see the check. 
So you want to check this off and then you'll see unapplied payment. Go ahead and check this as well. And you'll see here that the amount received is zero and these two net to zero. Amount to apply, 200. Amount to credit, zero. If we hit save and close, now we show an open balance of zero, overdue zero, and this uh, payment shows as closed and everything uh, shows as buttoned up nicely. Okay, so that's how you're gonna walk through that process if you have this customer overpayment and you need to issue a refund. Uh, and so it's a couple of steps. It's a little bit of a pain, but this is gonna keep your books clean and make sure everything looks good in your accounts receivable and the credits for individual customers. So any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. I've got a couple of free videos there for QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop on the top mistakes that most people make and how to avoid those. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.